y'all. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your mistress of ceremony, Lady Nika, in with another edition of Their Business, My Views, okay? So it's still Wednesday following my morning live, and I want to thank each and every one of y'all that showed up down here yesterday that participated in the live stream with me. I appreciate everybody who watched the replay. I'm just totally grateful that you all decided to come and spend a little time with me yesterday down in the den, okay? Thank you so much. Um, for my Lady Reloaded page people, I will upload two episodes of Love and Marriage Huntsville. I just had a very hectic week. If you go back to the live from yesterday, it'll kind of give you an idea of what I've been going through. So please make sure you check that out. And then it'll kind of make sense as to why I won't be available. You know, I haven't been available to do the live streams. Uh, well, not the live streams, the recordings for the Love and Marriage Huntsville. I have not abandoned it. Just had a hectic week. So I'm going to give you a two for one this weekend and upload it. My retro review people, I will, now that I'm past the March Madness in the den, we will be still doing the retro reviews. Um, instead of dropping so many a week, I'll be doing one like every two weeks. So I'll have another episode review of Dynasty up uh, next week at some point, okay? Any live streams that I had planned for this week have been canceled due to the fact that I am dealing with sickness children and my spirit just not into it. So when I get past this little storm, I'll jump right back into it and start doing the uh, live stream. So if we had something planned, just know that I haven't forgotten about you. I'll have to reschedule yet again. And I apologize for the inconvenience, but life is happening for me right now. And it takes precedence over being able to sit at a live, make sure I have my notes together so that my live stream will flow effectively, okay? So those that's what I wanted to say to you guys. Now, let's get into the midst of it all, okay? We're going to start off with this person here, and I'm about tired of him. Will Smith, child. In the aftermath of the so-called slap that was heard across the world, actor Will Smith has two upcoming projects allegedly put on pause. The Netflix action film Fast and Loose has been put on the back burner. Additionally, Smith was reportedly given 40 pages of a script for the upcoming fourth installment to the Bad Boys franchise, but Sony, too, has opted to bench back from active development. He has uh, another... Another movie called Emancipation, where Smith plays a runaway slave who journeys through Louisiana swamps to escape plantation owners. It was scheduled to premiere April in April on Apple TV in 2022. It now has no release date. Still, Smith still has plenty of projects on the horizon in various states of development, but the fate of those films and TV shows are in flux following the fallout of Smith's infamous Oscar moment. Now, did I not tell y'all that? I tried to explain that with what happened, you may understand why he did that. You may understand that Chris, to you may have been out of order, but I kept trying to get y'all to understand that in Hollywood, I don't care how successful Will Smith has been, the same machine that made him could be the same machine that breaks him. Do I think they're trying to break him? No. But they're sending out a clear message to him. What you won't do, my brother, man of color is come up on our white stage and act a buffoon. I tried to get y'all to understand that that was going to be some fallout and backlash for what he did. People argued with me in the chat and said, or in the comments and said, you know, he's made. 
He don't need that. It's all good. Well, let's just see how good he does. He's already had to resign from the Academy of Motion Pictures, Science, and Arts and Science. He still has an upcoming board meeting where they may decide that they want to snatch that Oscar from him. His movies have been paused for right now. He didn't like that Chris Rock had his wife's name in her mouth, in his mouth, but his wife's name is in a whole lot of people's mouths, uh, comedians and, and, and others. So at the end of the day, when I was speaking about Will Smith and saying that I did not think that was the best move for his career, dealing with the machine that he's dealing with, I wasn't saying that to be smirchified, man. I wasn't saying that to calm down. I was just telling you about how it really go, and I knew that there would be some backlash for what happened. At this point, the Smiths all need to just shut up, sit back, take the lick, and hopefully he can revive and renew and start up his projects again. But I knew they were not going. He wasn't going to just be able to resign and that be it. I knew that people understanding all of y'all that were saying, oh, he had a right to do what he did. He was defending his wife's honor. Well, what do you feel today? It may not mess up his coin because he got it. But it's pausing his coin. And in the long run, it'll mess with his money. I wasn't talking about short-term effects. I was talking about long-term effects of that. And that was all I was trying to get y'all to understand. That was it. That was it. In the next story, and I don't think I have a picture of him up here. Let me see. Do I have a picture of... Uh, Hold on, y'all. Let me see. I don't think that I have a picture of Kanye West to put up on the screen. I don't think I do, Chad. Nope. Nope, I don't. Oh, well, we're going to have to flow without a picture of him. Kanye West. Kanye West has pulled out of uh, his headlining set at Coachella. His appearance this year was already uh, shrouded in controversy. There was a change.org petition that called for the Yeezy fashion mogul removal from the festival lineup in light of his public behavior toward ex-wife Kim Kardashian, her boyfriend Pete Davidson. The petition has gained more than 49,000 signatures so far, and it is continuing to grow. Now, the reason for the cancellation was not immediately clear, although sources say that he had not released or he had not he had not released, he had not rehearsed or prepared for the appearance. Coachella runs from April the 15th through the 17th and April the 22nd through the 24th. So in light of everything that's been going on with Kanye West, I would say that that was a good idea. Ain't no sense in putting more pressure on yourself because clearly you feel pressure right now. And uh, maybe he needs to take the time to just figure out his life right now. That That's that's how I feel about it. Maybe he just needs to take a moment to figure it all out for himself real quick. Now, in our next story... Hmm. No, I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to go with this one first. That's Carl Watts Jr. We'll talk about him momentarily in my next story. I don't really like talking about uh, bloggers because I have a respect for Tasha K. I I mean, I always agree with what she does, but I do have a respect for her. So I'm just going to run through this story and I'll give my quick opinion about it because this is their business and my views. On Monday, well, the feud between uh, Cardi B and blogger Tasha K continues to heat up. Now a judge has ruled that Tasha K must remove all defaming content of Cardi B. 
Monday, a federal judge granted an injunction for Tasha K to delete old posts and YouTube videos of her dragging Cardi B until the appeal process is complete. She has five days to purge her platform of all der derogatory talk uh, of Cardi B. Now, as of now, Cardi is not to consume with what Tasha K posts as she has recently deactivated her social media accounts following a war words with her fans for not attending the 2022 uh, Grammys. My thought on that is simply this. Let me move the picture so you can look at me. If you post the lies about the girl, just take the stuff down. It's not worth it. You have proved your point. And I do feel that the media has a right to speak on these celebrities, but you don't have the right to spew, spew lies about them. And if what you have said about this girl is untrue, then you should want to take that information down. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. Because again, I, I try to make it a practice not to talk about coworkers now. She's not, she may not, I may not be on a level of a Tasha K, but I still am a fellow YouTuber of hers down here. And I commend Tasha K for being able to stand up to what she believed was right, whether she won or not, she still took a stand. And it takes a lot of courage to do that. However, I do feel that if there's anything up on your platform that is a complete lie about this lady, it is right to take the information, take those videos and post down. The stuff you report about, that you know you can report about, then that's fine. But if it's blatant lies about the lady, just take the stuff down. I mean, you have already proven your point that you will stand your ground. At this point, let's move forward. Now, in my next case, which is this man right here? One Mr. Carl Monty Watts Jr., age 45, was arrested and charged with second-degree murder in the death of Shondale Harris. Let me see if I have a photo of Miss Shondell that I can show you this lady. She's a very pretty lady. Let me see if I can find it. Mm. This is the lady in the picture that he killed. Okay. Watts showed up at a North Miami Beach Jewish Community Center Sunday and murdered Harris as she attended a swimming class for her daughter. According to police, Watts stabbed Harris the a day before and offered money to drop the charges on the stabbing. And when she refused, he shot her. Then he stood over her body at the pool area after she collapsed, allegedly, and continued firing rounds until she, he ran out of ammo. They were married. The police was able to confirm that they were married, but that in, they did not have any children in common. Now Watts is, a convicted, Watts is a convicted felon, has been arrested multiple times, and let me see, he was convicted for numerous violations dating back to 1995. He was also a person of interest in the 2014 disappearance of uh, Truquita Scott, a young mother in Fort Lauderdale. She was last seen in Miami Gardens on June 25th of 2014. The police have since then found the car, but never have been able to find her. I hope that whatever justice needs to happen for this lady, Shandell, that it comes quick. This man has a history of violence toward women, and I don't understand how. It seems like these violent offenders seem to seem, they always seem to get out and be able to reoffend over and over again. But I hope that justice is served for Ms. Shandell. She did not deserve to die like that. She didn't deserve to die at all, but she damn sure didn't deserve to die in the manner to which he caused her death. So rest in peace to Miss Shondell and my condolences to her family. Because as I stated, she was at her child's swimming practice when this man came up and just gunned her down like a dog. In our next story, let me get to her. Miss Ashley 
Hollinsworth. Ashley faces one charge of attempted murder and child abuse. The Las Vegas police have been able to confirm. The 22-year-old delivered a baby at home Saturday and was headed to Mountain View Hospital when she wrapped a blanket around the newborn baby head. She then allegedly compressed the blanket against the infant's nose and face. And when she arrived at the hospital, she refused to enter the emergency room because she was bleeding profusely. As she was bleeding profusely. She then fled to an area, but was found about two hours later with head injuries and told police she was beaten up by a rock. Mm. Her mugshot here shows the obvious injuries. She said that she had something evil in her stomach and was trying to kill it. The baby didn't sustain any injuries from the incident, and she will be appearing in court on Monday. I don't know what kind of evil, I don't know what kind of mental illness this lady must have been going through for her to do something as heinous as that. But thank God that baby did not suffer. The baby did not die. There were no injuries. But look at this woman. Beat up by a rock. I told y'all. When the Reagan era decided to defund mental health services and close a lot of uh, services that were available for people who have mental illness. They did this country a disservice because whereas there were probably places she could have gone for help, far, in far and in between now, and clearly something was wrong with her, for her to believe that an angel that was given by given to her by the most high was evil and to the point she wanted to kill the child. I don't know what beat her up, but according to her, she was beat up by a rock. That is some thin line between love and hate type of shit, child. I've never seen anything like it. But I wish her well. I wish her a good mental health. Now, they did mention that the father was, you know, present in this baby's, you know, situation and that he would be caring for the baby. But they didn't go into detail in the article that I read about his exact involvement in all of this and what, you know, what had been going on. Did he didn't give us any insight into what was going on with Miss Ashley or not. This is so weird to me. Like, Y'all remember that lady that killed her kids because she thought they was evil in that bathtub years ago? That's the kind of vibe this gives me. And I don't understand it. I, I know that some women, you know, have immediate postpartum, but I don't think postpartum put you here. I don't know because I'm not a medical professional, professional but I will say that that... Mm, that was something surreal about all of that. But anyway, I wish, I'm just happy the baby survived. And whatever this girl needs to heal herself, mind, body, and spirit, I hope that she can get it, okay? That brings us to the close of another edition of Their Business, My Views. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And remember, in closing, as always, you do not have to be great to get started, but you must get started in order to be great. And it is the death of your struggle that will determine the ultimate height of your success. Have a beautiful Thursday, because Thursday is when you will see this. Have a beautiful Thursday, and I'll see you guys Friday for another premiere. We will be doing our True Crime Friday. It'll be a premiere, and I'll try my best to be in the chat to chat along with you all. Have a beautiful day, folks. Bye.